I don't know if you're aware, but I'm from Brazil originally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, back in Brazil, I used to work as a police officer. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, what's that like being a cop in Brazil? You know, it's not the safest place to work <laughs> as a police officer. Uh, his mum couldn't hang his uniform to dry outside because if people on the street saw his uniform hanging outside, yeah. potentially, there's so many drug dealers around yeah. in Sao yeah. Paulo, potentially they would literally just go into the house and Jeez. No. They go in and shoot people. Oh. That's crazy. So it's not a very relaxing job. So you almost have to be like undercover as a police yeah. officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to take a few precautions when you work as a police officer up there. You're, um... Go on, what are you going to say? I was going to speak about the comedy with Claudia. Oh, so I was like, go on, you carry on then, because you know, you ask, you ask, you like Claudia. No, you, well, I was going to say about the comedy thing. Are you, uh, so, um... How did you, you just, get into it? Would you, would you, oh <laughs> you was being too <laughs> slow. <laughs> Carry on. Before lockdown happened, me and my friends, there's a pub down the road that does live comedy. It used to be on the circuit, Graham Norton, Joe Brand, all the big people used to go. And uh, we used to go and watch comedy there on a Thursday. And we sat there and me and my best mate, we said, oh, we could do that, we could do that. So lockdown happened and I just started writing because I had the time. And uh, that was it. And the thing with stand-up comedy, I don't know about you, Pete, but I feel like it, it makes you feel alive, like you push yourself. Yeah. It just gives you that kind of... It will put you putting in you a, out your comfort zone. Yeah. When it goes well, it's just such a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah. So. Right, so welcome to today's show. Um, today we have two special guests. Yeah. I like to call them all I guess special. You had no one else to bring, so... All right, hang on. We'll get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Please Be come. You've Be been honest. booked in for ages, all right, yeah. <laughs> yeah all right, so we've got Gus Trentino and Claudia Trentino, husband and wife. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. Like Thank Richard you guys. and Judy. Richard and Judy. Yeah, a bit like Richard and Judy, aren't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Why's that? Or are you a lot older than him? No, I just flash my bra now and again <laughs> on TV. Yeah. That's what I do. So I heard Claudia's a better comedian than you. She is. Jeez. Oh yeah, I didn't say that, did I? Well, I was going to try and keep it hush. Who hush, told but you that? You've just opened up a can of worms now. Pete. Yeah, I know Claudia <laughs> because she is a fellow comedian, and uh, we met doing a um, workshop together. So uh, we've done a few gigs together as well, haven't we? We've done a few. We've got one tomorrow. Haven't yeah, we? got one tomorrow. Looking forward to that one. It's his birthday tomorrow. Did he tell you? He's not looking forward to it. But I didn't know I was going on it, did I? He didn't know. I didn't know. It's his birthday tomorrow, and he I'm was so bitching gutted, earlier go. about it. What time is it? Barry's going to see this and be like, oh. oh. oh right, okay. He didn't want to come, Barry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just letting you know. No, I'm only joking. I'm, um, it's going to be good. What was I going to say? Um, now I've lost my trailer full. I've just got back from work, though. You know. We can tell by your hands. Gus That's has soon. been at work. I've been at oh, work. My, really. my hands. <laughs> Disgusting, like, but I have washed them, but they just don't come clean. No, Gus is actually a typical carpenter. plumber's hands. Carpenter by trade. I bet he's got yeah. smooth hands compared to a plumber. Well, no, they're rough show. in the right places. Uh, so <laughs> <worry>. yeah, some <laughs> places are hey, a bit rough. Hey, whoa, salty. <laughs> whoa, but, that was that was early to get into that, wasn't it? But that was, <laughs> but, dial it back. But that was the um, but that was the point of getting you on here because you are husband and wife, and we like to get a perspective and different dynamic of trade. You know, life, mm -hmm. as it were. So, um, how long have you been doing carpentry, then, Gus? Uh, for about seven years now, right? About seven years. Seven years. Yeah, yeah. It, we, she's looking bewildered. Why is he I asking me? Don't know why you're me, looking at me. I don't are know. you doing his accounts for him as well? <laughs> I just spend the money. That's all. I don't know what he's up to. He could be doing anything during the no, day. Yeah, I don't it's know. Been about seven years. Of, you know, I used to do other things before. Yeah, like involved in carpentry. What, trade work, trade a lot. No, work. I used to work in restaurants, you know, but uh, I don't know if you're aware, but I'm from Brazil originally. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, back in Brazil, I used to work as a police officer. Then, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, see, this is what I'm yeah. talking about. This is what I'm talking yeah. about. So you've gone from, there is actually a guy on Instagram called From Bobby to Chippy, because he used to be a copper and he oh. became a carpenter, oh. innit? So, wow, what's that like being a copper in, in Brazil? Brazil? I've been intrigued to sound. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, well, Brazil is not bad. I mean, it's, you know, it's not the safest place to work <laughs> as a police officer. Uh, you know, my family, they never liked it. Hmm. His uh, mum couldn't hang his uniform to dry outside. Yeah. Because if people on the street saw his uniform hanging outside, yeah. potentially. There's so many drug dealers around yeah, in Sao yeah. Paulo. Potentially, they would literally just go into the house and... Jeez. No. They go so, in and shoot people. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm. So it's not a very relaxing job. 
So you almost have to be like undercover as a police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you know, oh, you have to take a few precautions when mm. you work as a police officer out there. Mm. But yeah, so my family they never really liked my job, so I ended up leaving. Did you always want to do that, going the police when you lived in Brazil? Uh, well, your family didn't like your job because they was worried about your yeah the risk health. yeah yeah, yeah the, the risk, risk yeah. of the job you yeah. know uh, I've lost like friends he used to work as a police officer as well they you know they're being shot uh, but yeah it's, uh, and eventually end up leaving and I, I moved to Australia right so that's how I met Claudia in Australia. Oh, you met in Australia? Met in Australia. The plot thickens. It's well, awesome. You never yeah. told so me more. you went to Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's more so. <laughs> what was you doing out there? Getting drunk. Was you? Getting drunk <laughs> a lot. So yeah. how long you what, how long you been together then? We've been married 14, 14 years this year. This year, yeah. August. August. Oh, right. yeah. Did you get married in Australia? No, no in Brazil. Brazil. Oh. oh, we got married in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shotgun wedding. Place, I was yeah. pregnant with our son and in mm. Brazil. We got a quick wedding, didn't we? Yeah. And he got his yeah, visa, that's yeah. what he wanted. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not going back anymore. Let's go to the that UK. Was <laughs> Not going back Get this Eng- English bed pregnant. Listen, there is no get way they're going to get rid of me now. I know, I know, I know. I've tried. <laughs> Stay He's forever. Staying around, so yeah. Oh, that's that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Mm. so how long was you in Australia for then? I was there a year. I was on a working visa, but I'd been travelling for about nine months before that. Mm. Stopped in Australia. I had tickets booked elsewhere in the world. All the tickets booked. My friends were there. They went off travelling and I stayed. Mm. I don't know why, but I just wanted to stay. And I was working in a restaurant and I, he was working in, a re- in the same restaurant. I saw him one day. It was like love at first sight. Was it? What, yeah. was, he, what was he serving? He was pot washing. It was just pot, pot washing. washing. Yeah, I couldn't even speak he the language. He was wearing marigolds and I was like, that is the man. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful, that is, isn't it? He goes out yeah. to wash up. That's the yeah. one for me. Yeah. So, so how did that go? So, how did you did you obviously approached him then? Yeah, obviously. I used to make him drinks on the bar. I used to say, oh, yeah. an you excuse like to, to come into the kitchen. Oh, I've yeah. got your coffee. Yeah. Did you yeah. take the hint? Was you? Did you? Did you realise that? You... Yeah, yeah. And I was like, mm. but there were loads of other girls yeah. that were interested as well. So we had like a whole like big no, load no, of, no. of drinks just like piled up where yeah, girls are just no. bringing him drinks all day, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, no, well, I mean, don't I mean, be that's modest. That, uh, that's perks of being a good yeah. looking man. Well, that's it. Well, I mean, I yes, never sir. get drinks bought for me. <laughs> Kieran just bought you a drink there. Exactly. Well, well, that's it. Yeah. I've got long hair. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I didn't. I didn't, re- didn't realise that you met in Australia, and I didn't, yeah. and and the 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 police thing was all new to me as well. That's like that's a bit mind. So what? So when you come over here, then you what? When did you come? Oh, really? Did together. you both decide we're going to move to the UK or what? Well, I was pregnant, yeah, so was pregnant. I got pregnant quick with our son. And um, obviously we wanted to be together. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it was just like we need to get married. So we got married in Brazil, didn't we, while I was pregnant. And yeah. then I came back to England waiting for him to get his visa. Mm, mm. So I was literally about to give birth and he still wasn't here. And he got here just in time. Yeah, just in time. Because I, I think you have to wait a few months until you get your... Mm. Spouse visit. Yeah. So yeah, then I, and I we came were over. Skin, weren't we? Yeah. Did you Absolutely live in Brazil skin. for a little while as well? Or? No. 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 I stayed for about six weeks when we got married, didn't I? And then yeah, about six weeks. Back. Yeah. But yeah. How long were you in the police in Brazil then? I uh, worked there for five, nearly five years yeah. as a police officer. Yeah, but you experienced. What a lot made you want to do that in Brazil? Is what the question I want to ask you. No, no, for the women. No. Um. <laughs> Well, when, when I was a child, I always, like, dreamed to be a police officer or a firefighter. Yeah. Do you know, yeah, kids yeah, when yeah, they yeah, have yeah. that kind of... And then one of my best mates in Brazil, he joined the police force. And he was like, oh, you know, you should you should join as well. You know, we yeah. can potentially even work together. Yeah. So I was like, all right. So I started doing university there. And then I thought, you know, I'll screw the uni. Mm. And I'm just going to join the police mm. force. And that that's how it... What, was, was yeah. the money any good for being a police officer out uh, there? He wasn't. It, it's still not. Like you know, the salary for the police officers in Brazil. I don't know how much roughly they were gonna be earning now, but it's not good wages there. It's probably like thousand pounds a month. Roughly. Really? Yeah. High risk job as well. Yeah. 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 So it's the, the wages there is not great. So that's why you you have a lot of corruption. Yeah. You know, bribery and things like yeah. that. Because mm. 
Yeah. A lot of police officers have a second job as well, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. I always they had a second job. Together. I used to do security jobs. I, I worked for uh, the, fo uh, the Brazilian footballer. He got pub in Sao Paulo. Um, who? Who? It's, it's two of them. It's uh, Ronaldo. Fat Ronaldo, the big yeah, Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah, Ronaldo. Yeah, the big yeah, Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's getting caught yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> up. Yeah. City on the gold money. Yeah. Like, and then there's a guy who plays uh, for Brazilian football team. Uh, yeah, Brazilian football team. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna know him. It's a team called Corinthians. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's called Vampeta, but he they used to have a pub in São Paulo. Oh right. So we used to work there when they closed the tills yeah. by five o'clock in the morning. You're just there, yeah, just standing around. So, so, so you met the Ronaldo then? Yeah, he smokes a lot. Yeah, yeah, drinks a lot. He was a quality football player, yeah. but he's he's quite big now, isn't he? He's quite yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's a big boy. Yeah, a few yeah. pounds, but he's quality footballer. So All you... the good footballers are like alcoholics, aren't they? Yes. Like George Best was an alcoholic, wasn't he? Yeah, he was an alcoholic. Liked yeah. to fag and mm. yeah, yeah. Some of them go down the Wayne wrong Rooney, road. Wayne Rooney, I think. I think Wayne Rooney liked a beer and a, and a cigarette, didn't he? I think Wayne Rooney smoked. Well, he it? doesn't look like your typical footballer, does he, Wayne? No, but Rooney. he was. He, wasn't but he was amazing, really wasn't he? Mm. Yeah. Really, he's, he's sort of like I said it the other week. It's like that um, of of the. Uh, What's his name? Luke the Nuke is like the Wayne Rooney of the dance world. Isn't oh, it? yeah. Do you know what I mean? He looks old before mm. his time, but yeah. he looks older than what he is. Mm. But he's an absolute... What, is he 16? Mm. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? I don't know if he's 17 yet. Is he 17 yet? <laughs> don't know. Yeah, a friend of mine was working at the Ali Pali when he was doing the darts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She just Rachel. said the following he had was like... Massive. Massive, yeah. yeah like yeah, he's a massive it's just, star. It's, it's huge. But he got a lot of stick, didn't he? Because he had mm. a... An older girlfriend. Yeah. She was like 23 or something, wasn't yeah, and she? It, and it, yeah. But, you know, if it's legal. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not breaking the laws here. No, no, no. No. Gus ain't arresting anyone. Yeah, I'm not arresting I'm not police officer anymore. I'm not sure about it. So, like you say, there's a lot of obviously corruption, isn't there? And a lot of people offer you money. And yeah. That's how they get away with it, isn't it? In, the, in these countries. You mm. take any of your work. Did you so when you come over here though, did you think about joining the British police force at all? Did that go through your head or I, I did actually I think I went through uh, well it was Met Police, wasn't it? Sorry. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah, I think I applied for the Met Police job and I what did I fail? I've done the test and all that, but I failed in something. So so that you can reapply again in six months. Yeah. But then once I was looking like salaries and things like that, I thought it's not really mm. worth when you see what you get paid. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm so pleased it didn't work out. Potentially to be what you can yeah. do it, like working on the trade, like being a car and it just, he left. It just weren't what he thought. Really? Like I say, I don't really get paid for what they do. Mm. Um, and it's the funny hours as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like shift pattern. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. not easy doing shift. No. So you work night, night shifts and then day yeah, shifts yeah. is a bit... Mm. Yeah. Um, My so mother in... My ex mother in law used to be a police officer, and so did my brother in law in the Met Police. And um, yeah, she well, she used to be in the paedophile unit, which oh god, not good. Didn't she people work. She she had to quit that Hats once. Off once to we them, had but... yeah. Once we, once she my kids were born, she was like, I'm not. I can't do this. No. Can't go through looking at that that sort of stuff. The graphic stuff that they have to look at. Mm. Like as evidence and stuff like that is just yeah, it mess you up. Yeah, it mess you up. Yeah, yeah, you can't do it. Things you forget, don't you? There's people out there doing that job every day, mm. and there's so it's rife. Yeah, mm. I mean now we've got the internet so available. I mean it's it, it's everywhere, mm. isn't it? I yeah. mean that kind of material, and yeah. people have to protect these kids don't yeah. they and they have to go through this material it's like it's mind-blowing isn't yeah, it's, it's it awful. thank god people do it the, the thing is that, that i think there was a couple of um there's a couple of uh i don't know if they're ex-coppers they might be but they're i can't it's john and john or something or other or john and someone they visit the schools like to like make kids aware of what's going on online sort yeah. of thing because you hear about all these you know the kids play games and that and yeah, they start yeah. getting fucking groomed on it and you and you're worried you seeing your kid on the tablet and you're thinking oh, who is she talking to like it's fortunately we was quite good with it where it's all private they're all private on all these game things they're private so no one 
well, I don't believe they can. Like mm. Loose can get into these like games and but they play amongst their friends on their private little platform sort of thing. But some kids are just surfing the net, ain't they? Do you know what I mean? Like like they used to call it, and they don't know who's fucking out there, do you? Mm. It's Dangerous it's place. Yeah, you it think is. you think about it, it's because the whole world is just huge now, isn't it? Due to the internet, yeah, mm. it's just a massive open space. Well, did you see that? There's a tribe, isn't there? In is it the Amazon? They recently got the internet. I think Elon did they? Musk, Starlink, and they they showed pictures of them like holding up the boxes, like <laughs> got the internet now, all in their like you know proper traditional yeah, yeah. place. And apparently, within a week, they're all addicted to porn. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, just sitting around wanking. The whole time. And it's like what, that? rainforest. That's progress. <laughs> Yeah, in the rainforest. Oh, the yeah. Brazilian part of the rainforest. I think so, yeah, from what they were wearing, yeah. Oh. It's sad, isn't it? It's like, That's oh. bad, isn't it? It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Really, when you think about it, it's terrible. If that's what the... F- <laughs> That's what they've looked up and found and thought, well, right, we'll have a go on this. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, mean I, 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 I'm not, I don't know what these sites are. I've never, oh, I've never been on them. I've never been on them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've seen your searches. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> this is it. So oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, it's like no. Oh, never seen it oh, no. Like, it's, not, it's not real. I can't get into Apparently it. It's, it's not there. real. It's not, no. It has to be all in the mind for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, so you then decide to become, you decide to become a carpenter. For what reason? Um, is it a biblical thing? No, no, it's not a biblical thing at all. Um, no, it's just religious. always always Jesus was a carpenter. Yeah, Are you religious? Yeah. Are you religious? I, I, yeah, I believe in God. Uh, you know, we came from a Christian background. Yeah. Right, no uh, Christian uh, jokes or God jokes yeah. here no, today. No, no, then you know what I mean. I was but, um, say. Yeah, in Brazil, like the majority of people in Brazil, they they Christians, yeah, uh, Catholics. Uh, it's quite a big thing in Brazil. Um, I don't go to the church anymore, but you know, I still. Because Christianity here is not that. It's totally no, different. Yeah. Over there, like, like it's a big it. thing, yeah. Yeah. you know. People go every, mm. every I think weekend, Sunday, and yeah, they get together. Sunday. It's like we've yeah. lost that. Is that, is that yeah, something to do yeah, with? Definitely. Is that something to do with culture? And like you say, in Brazil, there's not as much money about. There's, there's a lot of like stuff going on. Like you yeah. say, there's it's a lot people, of people. They need faith. A lot they, of poverty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? They need to Absolutely. have something. Whereas in this country, you seem to be able to just get anything you That's want. Yeah. Even if you're yeah. skin, you can yeah. have the big TV. You know, do you know yeah. what I mean? And people are losing touch with I that, they are, that they faith. Are. It's, it's like, becoming more like material. Like yeah, as yeah, in, you yeah. Know, Rather than like, just get together as a community. Like we don't even celebrate our own day. Exactly. Yeah. Like St. George yeah. is like, no, who celebrates that? So it's, it's like, it's like it's a traditional... like you're vilified for that, aren't you, yeah. to celebrate St. George's mm. Day? Like, people take the piss out of people if they celebrate mm. St. George's Day. But it's kind of strange. St. Patrick's isn't it? Day, that's all right. We'll get yeah. a pint of Guinness. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. We'll have a pint of Guinness because right. it's, it's St. Weird Patrick's though, Day. Isn't it? yeah, it's it's strange, like, isn't it? Yeah, it's strange. It's quite strange. We're quite reluctant to celebrate. It's a shame, really, stuff. isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. it's like wiping your culture. Yeah, like the culture's going. Introducing new, like, culture. Yeah, it's a bit, it is a bit. Weird, but well, it's, like, commer- you know, it's commercialism. Everything's yeah. commercialism, mm. though. Like isn't you it? were saying, you know, if people can get everything they want, yeah, the, in these poorer countries, they have to lean on each other. They have to have the community yeah. mm. spirit, you know, and it keeps them going. I think we've lost that mm. here, haven't we? Definitely. We're going yeah. to get deep, aren't we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> that is good to go <laughs> deep. Go back and to and porn. Come back out. We can't <laughs> 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 go back to porn. Yeah. Well, we all feel comfortable. Let's go back. Yeah, to come on. Let's talk about porn. Come on. Let's move on. So, uh, what did you did you uh, did you go to college, Chippy? Yeah, did you go to go college? Yeah, yeah. I've done an MVQ. Um, was it hard to get into the trade, or did you know someone who's in the trade? Or no, what? I never. I didn't know anyone. Basically, uh, you guys are aware of CITB. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I contact one of the ladies from CITB. Said, mm. "Oh, no, I'm doing an apprenticeship," and then she's like, "Oh, I'll find your job." Mm. But within a couple of days, she called me back. I've got a potential employer if you mm. if you're interested. Mm. So I start doing it. So my f- if you'd have gone into plumbing, you wouldn't have got an apprenticeship that easy. It's because because oh. everyone wants to be a plumber. It just seems like oh, oh, I don't know. Do they CITB do plumbing apprenticeship? I don't know, but man, they, <laughs> they do. They do, they do yeah. electrical plumbing. Uh, basically, they in charge of find you like, as an apprentice. They in charge of finding you an employer. Mm. So mm. if you're doing plumbing, they're gonna get in touch with you know yeah. plumbing companies and trying to mm. find work. Why do you say it's not as easy? Amount of people who say they're struggling to get, 
Yeah, but maybe we only know that because we're in that trade. We don't really know about the other trades, about getting an apprenticeship. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what it's like now because yeah. you, you say you've been doing it seven years now, haven't you? But like, the ev- it just seems to me that it's harder for it apprentices harder, to get an apprenticeship these days mm. within our sort of like trade. I don't know what it's like now within the carpentry side or, or the general building side. But it just seems at the moment lots of people are struggling to get apprenticeships. I don't, I don't know why, whether or not our trade or the trade is getting just... Majority of people want people with experience, don't they? That's yeah. the problem. Mm. They yeah. don't want to train someone up. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, the cost of living as well, I suppose, that weighs on people's mind, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? I mean, if you've got an apprentice, mm. I don't know. What Have you, have you had apprentices before? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I've had apprentices, but, but that was when I worked for a company. So I was an assigned apprentice sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it wasn't a case of me. I, I, have bought, I have had one work for us. I say apprentice. It's more of like somebody phones you up and says, do you want a job? And you go, yeah, all right, then. Yeah, uh, they, they phone you up and go, have you got a job? And you go, yeah, all right, come and work with us. Mm. Right? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it an apprentice because he didn't go to college. He was just like more of like yeah, he wanted to learn with us. And yeah. It, yeah. But then, it's more larger companies take on proper apprenticeships. Yeah, they do they? a proper mm. apprenticeship like scheme. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We call it we call it apprentice. You could put them through an apprenticeship. Mm. And we was looking at doing that, but then we folded our company <laughs> me and my partner we folded the company so we didn't we didn't continue with it because it's just too hard out there when you're trying to when you're trying to work as a partnership and try and build a company it's so, it's so hard it's hard enough about man band but if you're then starting to yeah, take on employees Plumbers. That's what As everyone, everyone thinks. always says, oh, I want to run. I want to see a run. Hello, there. Loads of money. Yeah. You want loads of money. If if I, well, I tell you what, we do get good money. They do get. <coughs> no, do get all money. trades can get good money. Yeah. It's just the work you go into. But I think yeah. people don't realise the outgoings you've got nah. and all the other stuff that you've got to pay for. Oh, absolutely. In see, their mind, you they see understand a price. This I do because, because I, I'm married to a tradesman. Both my brothers are tradesmen. They're both electricians. Yeah. My dad was a tradesman. Your brother's electricians. Yeah, you never sorry. Told I, knew us you, that. I knew you'd have that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> what made um, you get into the trade? Did we ask that? Uh, oh, I was... I'm, I'm very practical with my hands. Yeah. Like very hands-on. I like to, you know, build things and do yeah. things. Yeah. So I thought, you know, I always like... Claudia's nodding there going. No, he's yeah, good. He's very good. You know, good. he made, he made, you started making uh, furniture out of pallets, didn't you? Yeah, that's you how I started. Years ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all the rage, yeah. like people were finding pallets. Yeah, that's know? how oh, I started. Let's make a table out of pallets. Yeah. And you started doing that, didn't you? Yeah, and then she mentioned, she was like, oh, you know, why don't you? Because I was thinking, oh, because when I was here, I was working as a, a waiter. Yeah. Just a bit of a waiting job. And she was like, oh, why don't you get into carpentry? Because I was always outside in the garden building yeah. things with pallets. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's quite a good idea. So I thought, you know, I'm going to... Go with something you enjoy yeah. doing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I was just scared that the whole flat was going to be filled with pallet furniture. <laughs> so I was like, go yeah. and get a proper... Yeah. Leave, you know, leave the pallets. Leave yeah. the pallets yeah. and yeah. go and learn how to do yeah, it. Yeah, how to do it properly. No, yeah. that was good. It's good. Yeah, that's how it started. In the Did you do all type, all end of carpentry? Did you do uh, like... Yeah, I've done... For my apprenticeship, I was doing uh, first fix. Mm. No, second fix. You know, boxing in pipes and yeah, yeah, hanging doors and all that. And then uh, I worked for this company for about nearly two years, and then I left and I went to do uh, first fix timber framed houses. Mm. You know, um, and that was I was there for about a year, so just under a year. Yeah, and then I joined another company doing jobs inside prisons. Ah, oh, right. So that's how, that's how we. So now you're doing like doors and stuff. Yeah, that's What's how... that like? Well, you ain't told him you was a copper, have you? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wouldn't say that. Uh, uh, I hope none of them uh, seen this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'll be alright. Right. Yeah, he but, doesn't um, work for him anymore. Lags. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, so yeah, that's how I started working inside the prisons here in the UK um, for another company. Mm. Then I saw opportunity. Funny how that ended up, you're a policeman, and then you ended up in a prison. I know, yeah, yeah, I know. Sometimes I think to myself, that's really weird, because yeah. I used to deal with that kind of yeah. Yeah. people all you've the done time. You've done a full circle yeah. sort of thing. And now I'm back into it again, in a different way, Yeah, but I'm back into like... It's like you're meant to be there. Yeah, so. dealing with them kind of people, because sometimes yeah. as, a, as an outside contractor, you do 
Do you get any do, trouble? Do, when do, 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 you, do you get near them? Do they come near you? Any yeah, we work alongside them. Literally, You're like, as if they're like animals. No, 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 they stay out for a couple of hours yeah. until like 11 o'clock. Get fed. Get fed. Yeah, get <laughs> fed. yeah they get fed. They go to the server, they get the food, and they, they get locked up again. Yeah. So when they get locked up again, that's a good time for that's us. That's when you get the knives and the chisels back yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'll get you. Right, so yeah. that's a good time well, that's for That's the us. thing, isn't it? Because you're bringing in Do tools. Do they try and store your tools and stuff? Like take like a chisel or... No, no, we no, we do it, it basically. When you go in, you have to do a tool list. Yeah. Mm. So you, they give you a list. Mm. You have to write every single, you know, if you got a Stanley knife with five blades. Yeah. One Stanley knife, five blades, and then you have to put everything on a tool list, mm. and then everything gets checked. Uh, once you finish your job, pack up, go back to the works department. When you leave the prison, they check the tools again, right. so to make sure everything is there. And if anything is missing, then they're gonna stop the whole prison. You lose your screwdriver or yeah. chisel. I'd be terrible there. Or yeah. some, you know, hand saw. <laughs> I don't know. I'll so do all your work in prisons <laughs> now then. Yeah, most, <laughs> most of my work is in, in prisons. We do a lot of work for Minister of Justice. So. Do you eat the food in there? Good question. Um, I used to, but now oh, here we go. I'm not doing that because uh, one of the prisons we do work, uh, not long ago, about two, three weeks ago, uh, one of the inmates uh, decided to put spice on the star food. Oh, shit. So everyone got high as kite. Like all the <laughs> Did prison you? officers. No, I didn't because I didn't have the curry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he didn't have the curry. Didn't have the curry yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you missed out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. the spice. <laughs> 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 the curry. <laughs> <laughs> they put, like, <laughs> That's yeah. So the spice was actually in a curry. Yeah. So they, yeah. <laughs> they would put spice in the curry. Check. <laughs> check. Is that all right? Yeah, 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 yeah check. But yeah, that was that was crazy. You can uh, just imagine, can't you, a little jar saying spice, spice yeah. Yeah. straight in there. Yeah. Oh, it's done me. <laughs> should laugh really, Pete. No, uh, no, but it's just uh, uh, yeah, well, the irony. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. But by, by the end, there was quite quite a few prison officers got poisoned. Oh, it's, know, not, yeah, it's, it's not funny. Know, I, know, I, know, I know it's not funny. I bet, but it's just the word spice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, so no. they were clever about it though. Yeah, yeah they? I mean, yeah. Uh, right yeah. That was <laughs> the right, yeah, that was a, yeah, the right food to put the spice on. <laughs> Who put the spice in the curry? <laughs> <laughs> and the chef. Who else did put the curry? Oh, mate, that's oh, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> sorry, sorry to all those affected. We're not, you know. We're not, we're not it's not funny. It's not funny. Not funny for those who are affected. No, but no. would you normally eat the curry? <laughs> I normally do, but after that, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> after that, I'm not eating anymore. Either, so yeah. Hello, you wonderful listeners and watchers. Just pumping the brakes on this exciting episode to let you know about Kieran's app. That's changing the game in the gas certificate world. If you're sick and tired of doing gas certificates on paper, then gas certificate app is your way forward but it wouldn't be an app worth talking about if that's it. With no hassle, you can manage your diaries, invoices and quotes for all your jobs so you'll never be chasing paperwork again. Don't forget those boiler manuals. I can tell you how many times I've been looking at a boiler and thinking, what the f Thankfully, the in-app boiler manuals have saved me and got me out of quite the pinch. If it's helped Pete here, then Gas Certificate app will definitely help you, especially with its easy to use gas red calculator and the extremely handy ability to duplicate certs. Brilliant for when you're doing your annual services on previous jobs. And for the icing on the cake, it has a complete offline mode. So if you're on a job in the middle of nowhere or servicing a boiler in the basement of a building with no signal, you've still got access to everything the app has to offer to keep you working hard. So click the link down below or in the description. Use the code POD30 to get 30% off yearly subscriptions. That's for all new users. That's POD30 for 30% of our yearly subscriptions for new users. So what's the majority of the work in the prisons then? Doors. 
we do a lot of doors. We're doing a lot of fire compartmentation now. Um, um, well, because yeah. they break them down or they... <laughs> do they not? Yeah, it's... it's they smash a lot of doors there, you know. Mm-hmm. You might, if, if you install a door today, give another four weeks, the door is going to be completely destroyed again. Mm. Oh dear. Uh, Have you seen it kick off there before? Or? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen kickoffs, the stabbing, I found weapons inside cells. Mm. Uh, Bloody hell. So, it's, yeah. so that's, I mean, that is a different side to the trade, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, you, know you wouldn't mean? think of these. Yeah, this yeah. Part yeah. Of yeah. The trade, it's so it? interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And every, everything you do in prison as well. So let's say you're going to install a door, do a whole door set takes, I don't know, two hours to install a door, and the prison can take you six hours. I wouldn't be or the whole yeah. day. Don't yeah. surprise me. The only problem is, like, when they kick off, you have to pack up all your tools yeah. and leave. Because they can take you as a hostage or take your tools, <laughs> use against the prison officers. Shit. So, yeah, it's, it's, so what, have you seen people get stabbed in there then? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not oh, good, man. is it? Bloody hell. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, I suppose you'd gone through a bit of an apprenticeship back in Brazil to deal with all that, ain't you, as well, though, sort of thing, that side of you it. You need the right people yeah. to be able to work being in the environment. Well, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think, I think, yeah, day, I think yeah. working, you know... <sighs> I think every every work you do in life, you might not appreciate that, but at some point, that previous work will it help all adds you. Up, doesn't it? It's funny. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Else, yeah. So like as, as you're saying, like when I used to work as a police officer, I was dealing with that kind of people, mm. and now working in the prison. Yeah. When I look back as being a police officer, I can see that helped me mm. to deal with the same kind of people again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, because sometimes you work in there. You're drilling like you're drilling because it's solid concrete, mm. as you can imagine. You're gonna install a door frame. You're drilling and making noises at nine o'clock in the morning, which when they still sleeping, mm. you know they come out the cell. It's like fuck it, hell, gov, mm. making noises. I'm trying to sleep, and yeah. you're like, yeah, sorry, mate. You know, I need to get my job done. Yeah, you know, you're not gonna talk back because if you do, they just mm. do they more problems. Do they do they offer like say like do they offer like. You know, because they do like apprenticeships in prison, don't they? They, they do. do. Do they offer to have guys work alongside you? Or Unfortunately, because I'm an outside contractor, I'm not allowed to right. take them. Right. You know, but there is a process where you can do it, but I need to find out because I'm willing to, to yeah, no, have it's an good, email, mate. You know? Yeah, I'm willing to do that, but there is a, a an outside channel you have to go through to, yeah. to mm. manage to have a, a, an ex mate mm. working for you as an apprenticeship. Mm. doing an apprenticeship because they need yeah. opportunities as well like, yeah definitely yeah, you got to have like some sort of rehabilitation in you and if that's yeah, a way yeah. of like going back to something like when they come out they've got something to fall back on in it yeah. so you, you got to you got to look at it as a bad way of rehabilitation and try, people trying to change their life in you yeah, and if that's an opportunity change. to do it then that's that's a, all, yeah. all a good thing in it you but know the prison I mean? the prison in general because uh, we do work in different prisons across the county and uh, other counties they they offer a lot of opportunity to to inmates yeah as mm-hmm. in like giving work and trying to find yeah no apprenticeships they have a, an employment hub inside mm. the prison yeah that's good so when they go and moving from i don't know cat c to cat d which is an open prison Mm. That's when they start giving them work. Mm. Yeah. You know, have have you worked in open prisons? As yeah, well? yeah. Uh, there is a prison in Kent. Uh, I worked there before. It's a lot more relaxing because the inmates there, they don't want to cause any problems because no, otherwise it, they go back. back yeah. yeah. You know, so it's a more, it's more relaxed environment mm. to work with. You know? mm. Yeah. So it's different to prisons in Brazil, isn't it? Oh no, prisons in Brazil is just a nightmare. Man. You is know, it? have a five square meter cell with 20 people sleeping on it. Shit. Actually. You know, you have to take turns to see who's going to sleep. Are you going to sleep two hours, then you wake up, that guy's going to sleep uh, another two hours. No, I was, was going to say something, but I was going to say it's probably better being a carpenter than a plumber in the shower in the prison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bloody hell. I know you don't want to be a plumber in the prison, mate. <laughs> no. You don't at all, no. No. No, I've got to just bend down and. Uh... Unplug this they're, drain off. Do you reckon they let, they close the toilet off? Say if a plumber had to work in the toilets, would they shut it off or they just let them go in there? Uh, you know plumbers in there, don't you? you yeah, no, well, normally, you know, inside the cell you have your own toilet. Mm. So I think most of the problems there is to do with, like, blockage. Yeah. Because yeah. they put everything inside the toilet. You know, would crazy. you work in prisons, Pete? 
Well, would you work in a prison? No. Nah. So I mean, you got to be the right type of person to want to do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I had a mate working and he'd do work in a prison. Um, I think he was doing like flooring and stuff. That's what he did in there. Oh, flooring. But um, no, nah, it's not. It's not really what I'd yeah. want to do, to be honest with you. I, I wouldn't. No, nah, I don't think I could deal with that. Yeah, it's not everyone. It's an extra I level of do. like stress. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I've got enough anxiety at work. Yeah. When I'm thinking about my van outside, possibly mm. being broken into, do you know what I mean? Mm. That's that's a that's a level of anxiety that that yeah. I just I just deal with that. I don't want to. Are the hours different? Like the prisons, I'd... working hours. Sorry. Yeah. Tell me, you didn't interrupt me. Yeah, carry on. <laughs> um, no, it's not. It's not any different. It's like normally it's eight to four. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you're doing. As for instance, if we're installing fire doors, it's, you know, you get there, install your fire door. Once it's done, you go. You know, you don't need to stay to four o'clock or anything mm. as an outside contractor. You can't like just like say, oh, I haven't had time to put that door on the cell today. No. We're going to have yeah, to come back off. tomorrow. <laughs> nah, nah. Because <laughs> the thing is, everything needs to be done on the same day, exactly the same day. So yeah. if you take one door off, you need to put that door back on. You have to cut the locks. Mm. And bear in mind, like prison locks, they're completely different. Yeah. You know, they're not the same. They're like big, chunky locks. Mm. But you've had lockdowns, haven't you, where they've had to evacuate everyone because there's been incidents inside the prison. So all the contractors have to go out. Yeah, yeah. Was 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 a few incidents not long ago. Uh, you know, some some sometimes you're not allowed to leave the prison. Mm. So they say when the rule is incorrect, which means... When everyone is locked up, they ha they have to count to make sure everything mm. everyone is inside their cell before mm. the do the prison officers go to the break lunch yeah, break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they do the count, but sometimes there is one prisoner missing. Right. So which means the rule is incorrect. So no one is allowed to leave the prison. Mm. So if we if we work in there and we finish the work, and we want to go about one or two o'clock. We're not gonna be able to leave the prison until they establishment found him. until they found the inmate. Yeah. And sometimes the inmate's just well, he was just wandering making near a curry. The, yeah, <laughs> making a curry. <laughs> have, you, have, wandering. have you worked in women's prisons? Yeah, so I did. Uh, no, actually, no, I didn't work. I went there to quote for for job. Right. But I haven't worked inside women's prisons, but I've I've been to one. Yeah. As well, and it's nice and clean. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was, you'd expect that, wouldn't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's more organised than, like, um, <laughs> They've all got their dusters up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, all right, I'm joking. I'm having an eye woman and I don't dust. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's right. Do you ever yeah. like, have conversations with the inmates or you... Yeah, well, because I've been working in these prisons for a few years now, they, 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 know, they yeah. kind of know yeah. me, you mm. know, so you, you talk to them, Obviously, like in a professional level, you don't mm. display too much information. You don't give yeah. too much away. Mm. But yeah, I, I talk to them. Mm -hmm. You know, say, "Oh, how you doing? You're all right." You know, they they got they call me. Um, one of the prisons I go because I go. I've been going there for about five years now. Yeah. So they call me Brazil. Hey, Brazil. Yeah. yeah. You know, how you doing? Man? You know, fist bump and all that. And it's yeah, but you know. End of the day, you're there just to install your doors, and yeah. then, and that's it. You, you can't speak on like an yeah, emotional yeah. level. No, or, no. Uh, but I kind of sometimes I do wonder, and sometimes I do ask, like I know if you don't mind me asking you, why, why are you, you why are you here? Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, I killed a carpenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, all right, <laughs> see you later, mate. Do they tell you like, when you ask? Yeah, they yeah. do. They do because. I mean, it's interesting because, um, and I, I, I mentioned this to Claudia before. And I believe, not most of people, but, you know, well, I would say the majority of people inside the prisons, they, I think the reason why they're there is because when you, when you start talking to them, it's always to do with their background, like the parents, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, the parents never really cared or, mm. you know, he was raised by his nun. And then none was go down the wrong yeah. road. Yeah, and then ended up, no they end up full, yeah, yeah, no guide exactly. Yeah. So they don't have any guidance. It's sad. It's, and they end up going to the wrong path. Yeah. But the, the, like the people I, sp I, I spoke before, you know, they always say it's like, oh, you know, my mom she never cared. You know, she mm. never called me to find out where, where I was with. Mm. This is this is where gang culture comes from, isn't it? Though. Mm. Yeah. Like inner city yeah. gang culture where the parents ain't there or whatever. They're allowed to roam the streets and they and ultimately their peers and their friends. 
become their, more like their family. They're looking for support. Yeah. They? yeah. they need yeah. support from someone, someone that gives a shit yeah. about them, basically. Yeah. They want to feel, like, wanted, don't That's they? That's it. So, mm. you know, it's natural that they're going to gravitate yeah. towards their peers, you know, if they're going through the same thing. Mm. Especially if they're, like, teenagers, you know, like, going through loads of things. Yeah. You know, change. Yeah, sure. it's, not, it's, not, it's not easy for some people. We forget that. A lot of us are, are, are privileged in where, we, where we've been brought up on our backgrounds, aren't we? But there are some people out yeah. there who's just really had struggles from day one, didn't they? Do you yeah, know what yeah I mean? absolutely. And, and I, I think, you know, it's, it's a lot to do with parenting. Yeah. You know? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Goes back to that. So, how do you find it then, as a tradey wife? Yes. How do I find it? Claudie's been yeah. getting away with it. Do you do this? <laughs> does he do? Does he do that to you? Does he go? Like, does he like drive along and go? You see that prison there? I worked in that one. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> not that we go to Sheffield very often. We try not to. Um, but he, yeah, you've done that before. Like when he used to do. Um, the wooden frame houses mm. when he first started. Oh yeah, team of take yeah, me on a tour. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on a tour. <laughs> <laughs> See that yeah. on there. Yeah. I put that up there, yeah. and I'd be like, "Oh, lovely," and I would, you know, yeah. say, "Well done." Yeah. But no, it's natural, isn't it? I think all of you yeah. do that, we don't do, you? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's kind of like you're driving along. See that? And you work on that side. Yeah. It's like, oh. Oh, do you know, you know, if I'm sitting on a car, I was like, oh, do you see that? Yeah, we all do. We all do. We all do. Yeah. You know. That's that it. pride in your work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's it. It. yeah. yeah. But but as a as a tradie wife though, like mm. how is it with like you know, does he come home with like wood shavings and raw plugs in his pocket? Oh and, yeah, and always. Do you, do you have to deal with that sort of thing? And like, how do you deal with it? How do you deal with being a tradie wife? Because we want that side of it as well, Claudia. Well, look, we live in a, a small flat, and uh, he buys a lot of tools. That's a problem I have, but I know it goes along with the job. <sighs> He's he's one of them, is he? He's you a tall it, chav. A tall, right? yeah. tall chav, yeah. <laughs> you know in that old that old thing where it's like, oh, women, you know, they order stuff off the internet and they don't tell their husband and they hide it in the mm, yeah. wardrobe. It's not like that. Right. It's like the tools. He orders tools secretly and then he hides them from me and then I just find them. Oh, another one. Another tool. Another tool. But it's all part of the job, isn't it? I can't I can't make Yeah, but that's that. what I try to explain to you. This is part of the job, you know. What tools are you uh are liking? What is your chosen power tool? Um and yeah. I think my cordless router. Cordless router. Yeah. Who who who's that? What uh make is that? As uh, a DeWalt one. DeWalt. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, We've so got that... a DeWalt. We got a DeWalt here. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a Makita. Makita. Well, yeah, you're Makita, by oh. all. Yeah. Makita. What were you, Makita? Makita, yeah. yeah. They, will do the, they will do the same job. Yeah, they will do the same job. As long yeah. as it's not a Black & Decker or a... Black & Decker is but DeWalt. Is it? Mm. Mm. <coughs> oh, God. If you didn't know. I didn't. Yeah. DeWalt and Black & Decker are the same company. Oh, oh Learn God. something new every day, oh, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Black Apparently, and I don't know if they still are. They oh, were. Right. They was part of the Black & Decker range, DeWalt. Like I said, I've grown up with... You know, Sparkies. Sparkies. My dad was jack of all trades. You know, he used to do everything. So there'd always be mm. wood and metal and shit and tools everywhere. So it's like. So how old's your little boy now? 13. Ah. Not so little boy. So is he showing an interest in carpentry or anything like that? He wants to go in the army. Yeah, he, he wants to join the army. Does he? a bit. Oh. You've got to let him do what he's got to do, though. Yeah. Course, yeah. But in, you know, in this. The climate where he's only 13 that could change yeah well, did you hear that I was thinking about bringing back the national, national service, service. Yeah, so yeah. what do you yeah, think I've about that it, yeah. i don't think it's a bad idea yeah mm. i was sort of because against it and then i was for it like we were saying about gang culture and all yeah that. Mm. yeah now these kids have got nowhere to go or whatever yeah. Maybe that would be better for and they need discipline, to discipline, yeah, yeah. discipline, discipline, yeah. you know, and that might straighten the country out if everyone has to go. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Because but yeah. they did it after the after World War Two, didn't they? National service, and you know, I I mean, I wish I'd probably done something like that. Mm. You know what I mean? It would have been good. It's a good. Just it structures you, doesn't it? It mm. gets you. To be honest, our boy does cadets. Mm. He does cadets, doesn't he? No. Yeah. He loves it. He loves it, and it gives him it gives him structure, and it gives him a way to sort of take authority, yeah, take yeah. and a bit of give it, it was respect. Respect, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's he's worn his uniform to school today, bless him, because oh. it's D Day, 
Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. He's really proud of it, and he's really proud to do that. That's and, like, really good. And so it's really nice. So in a way, I think it would be. Yeah. So a what's really the reason thing? why? Because everyone assumes army oh danger, didn't they? Because you yeah. go, oh, is that just a reason why? You don't actually go away that much. No. Like, no. Yeah, I think he'd want to do like it. engineering. That's what he's yeah. interested yeah. in. Isn't My it? mates in the army. He's been in it thirteen years. <coughs> yeah, he's been to like places but majority of the time they're going away working all the time you have a lot of experiences in the army yeah of course mm. good experience yeah you yeah. can get like a lot of our mates have come out of the army with like engineering um yeah, qualifications plumbers, like, plumbers yeah. come out of the army because you learn a truck you can yeah. learn a trade in there but that's yeah. what i say to oscar like you know i was saying you know if you want to go to the army make sure you make most of it like to try to study yeah. you can you can be whatever you want when you start the army because you, you can Fix vehicles. You can you can fly jets, mm. but you have to stay. You can fly helicopters. You can become a pilot. Yeah, but it's down to you what you want to do. You know, if he's saying that at thirteen, then he might. The thing is, he's still young, isn't it? You can change yeah. your mind. But yeah. to say that at thirteen, it's like. It's just me mate. being a mum, isn't it? It's just yeah, me because yeah. he's my yeah. only boy. He's my only son. Yeah, they, yeah he might not changing his mind. Would Would you um like to have any more? Ooh. I can have. Yeah. That's a question. That's, no, that's a question on the podcast, isn't it? Would you like to have any more? Why not? Um, no, we're not. We're quite happy. That's a bad question, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. One could be thinking yes, one could be thinking that no. Yeah, yeah, you imagine that person. Yeah. It calls the right. Like, isn't it? Isn't it? right this could cause a domestic after yeah. this. No, yeah. we spoke about it. I mean, I'm, I'm 30. And I get verbally abused after this yeah. question. No, not, no, I'm chilled. I'm chilled. Yeah. Like, to be honest, <clears throat> I, it's too much of a gap now, isn't it? 13 years. I think to myself, yeah, I think, like, w when I had kids, we had three of them all together. And mm. I think to myself, after the third one, like the baby stage and all that, I think to myself, when I see people going back to having babies, I think, whoa. Yeah, it's a lot, Like, you're it? going back to that. Yeah. You've, you've had one there, and then you're going straight back. Yeah. To that time where you was, like, tired to the like the house like as as a mother yeah, like, let's yeah, be yeah. honest mm. we go out to work do you know what i mean we we get what you're constantly there yeah, yeah. You? do you know yeah. what i mean and you think to yourself i don't know if, if that would be a good move do you know what i mean or, mm. or especially like you know sleepless nights and all that i can't think of anything worse yeah then a baby screaming at the top of its lungs when you are like so tired. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. I remember like just thinking, my ears hurt. Like yeah, it's yeah. actually hurting my ears when the babies were just going, wah, wah, and they mm. all went through this like um, acid reflux stuff and all yeah. that they get. And it's oh, just projectile vomiting, yeah. shitting. Yeah. And that's just you. <laughs> and that was just me. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but yeah, it's just. It's, it's just a it's a hell of a thing, isn't it? Yeah, going back again, yeah. it's it's, it's really you got you got to really think about it if you are doing it. Isn't yeah, it? he's thinking about doing it for the first time. Isn't he? You know what I mean? Oh, go for it! It changes your life yeah. Yeah. better, yeah. in my opinion. You know, you've got you know. It's what do you lovely. think about homeschooling? Oh God, fuck that! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but no. I did think about it for a while when he was smaller. And um, Kieran lockdown happened, and I was like, nah. Yeah. Kieran right. thought about That's it hard. already. Getting back to school. Oh, Kieran yeah. thought about it already Have for you? his child that isn't yeah, here it's yet. It's more just. So, who's going to do the homeschooling then while you're out working? <laughs> <laughs> so, you're thinking about it, are you, yeah, Kieran? You're making it. the decision on that. <laughs> <laughs> who's going to be doing it? I haven't thought that far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just likes to say things. He gets an idea and then he'll go and say it. It's a nice it. idea, Kieran. Wait until you have a kid and you'll, you'll just you'll literally want him out of the house. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean, Pete? Just wait until you get there. I'm, I'm not going to say any more about it. No, I wouldn't, mate. But he what's the reason? It last time I brought it up. Yeah, we brought it up in here last so time. One of our exercises. You don't know yet, your kid. <laughs> you that's that's what I said. He no. said to us, he goes, I'll bet you a tenner. He goes, <laughs> goes I'll bet you a tenner that our home score when you won't have a tenner to pay me. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Sure. <clears throat> yeah. So, what's the reason for that? Why are you thinking of. Um, of your missus homeschooling your kid? <laughs> I don't know, mainly the school systems in a way, a lot of their time, it's important obviously to learn the basics and stuff like that, but a lot, the thing is you never know what they're going to get into, so if you, say maths for instance, you've got to do X equals Y, like a lot of time you don't need that, 
Mm. I'm yeah. like, it's sort of a waste of time to learn Listen, that. I agree with that in mm. a lot of ways. I think the whole system needs yeah. to be looked at. I mean, look at all the kids getting ADHD diagnosis now, and adults as well. Mm. And, you know, people are waking up to the fact that kids learn in different ways. Mm. Our boy, you know, he talks a lot. He gets in trouble for talking. He's a lovely boy, but he talks a lot, and he... That's just who he is. He's always been yeah. that way. Mm. I can't change it. You know, it's not, no matter what I do, I'm not going to change that. But, you know, it's very regimented, isn't it? And yeah. The kids that put their head down and learn, I mean, they're okay. But that teacher's got so many kids to sort out with yeah. different issues and all of that. Mm. that you I mean, know, it is important. But like Kira mentioned, it's like, you know, when, when as you get older, like for, like for instance, myself, you know, most of the useful things that I've learned in life was outside school. Yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. do you understand? Like, it obviously is important. You need to know your maths. You need to know how to read and all that, but... It's like college, isn't it? Yeah. As an apprentice. Yeah. You go to college, but you learn the real skills outside of yeah, college. Yeah. In the real world, yeah. isn't it? Mm. You know what I mean? And it's sort of your... Sort of my reason as well, they're sort of tied to school. Yeah. You can only go away in school, it is. Yeah. Mm. When it's mega expensive. Like... It ties you down to one place. Mm. Yeah. And I don't really want to be tied down. Um I know what you're saying. No, I can see I can see why you would think that way. Mm. Just wait till you have one though. Yeah. Mm. Like Pete said. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, yeah. It is, it's just I don't know. Homeschooling would be really hard, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So I think because I've I'm a little bit of a free spirit. I've got a camper van. I've seen people do homeschooling in like living in hair. living in a van, so it's like my mindset's like that, more of a free mm. spirit, yeah. and again tied down to something. Mm. Mm. So that's yeah. I don't even know how it works. Like you have to run to in a curriculum still, though, don't you? Do you have to run? To, is that how it work? Has it worked? Do they have to take like exams still? Like do you have to put your kids through exams, etc.? Is that is that a legal do. requirement? I don't think you do. Uh, I think there's frameworks there that you can follow, isn't there? I mean. But then equally, if you're going to put your kid through homeschooling, they're going to miss out on friendships, potentially making friendships that are really important in their life, yeah. you know, that they can't get at home necessarily. Yeah, you'd, but need then to, yeah. home, you'd need to take them to like there's homeschooling social groups, places, isn't there? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. That's important for them to oh, Yeah, and the socialising yeah, side yeah. of it yeah. is very yeah. important, yeah. Because um, it will, will eventually develop that character as well. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Do you just want an apprentice from like five years old? Uh, Is that what you're saying? Just take them to work with you. And again, free like labor. The, the people you put them with in school, like no matter what school you send them to, there's little shits everywhere. Oh, like, we know about that. Oh, yeah. They're going to yeah, mix definitely. with all sorts of people and pick up the wrong stuff. Yeah. Can they give you the um? <clears throat> yeah. Them other little fuckers. I know. Like, but you I mean, you know, in a team. certain way, it's quite good where they're going to be able to meet, meet up with different people because yeah. then... We'll teach them lessons on yeah. a daily basis. All you can you know, do is guide them. People should be yeah. hanging around with. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. People they shouldn't, you know. It's a way of them to learn the different cultures, different ways of life, I suppose, as well. So mm. And this is going back and to go, like having more than one. It's so stressful having just one. Mm. When they get to... It, it gets even more stressful as they get towards teenage, mm. you know. Mm. It's like you've got more worries then, haven't you? Mm. Sorry, Pete. Don't. You've got that times three. Yeah. But this is this is what we're saying. It's so you get anxiety when they're out of the house. They start going out doing their own thing. Mm. You're like you're anxious all the time. Yeah. That never goes away. Mm. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, even when your kids are grown up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Apparently, you mm. know what I mean. Mm. So. Yeah. But um, you're oh. um. Go on. What are you going to say? I was going to speak about the comedy with Claudia. Oh, so I was I right. Go on. You carry on then, because you know you ask. You, you ask. You know, know Claudia. No. You, well, I was going to say about the comedy thing. Are you, uh, so um. How did you, you just... get into it? What do you? What do you? Want? Oh, <laughs> you was being too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. Carry on. Do you know what? It was lockdown. <clears throat> I always like you know creative writing and things like that during lockdown. No, that, that was it. Before lockdown happened, me and my friends, there's a pub down the road that does live comedy. It used to be on the circuit, Graham Norton, Joe Brand, all the big people used to go. And uh, we used to go and watch comedy there on a Thursday. And we sat there and me and my best mate, we said, oh, we could do that, we could do that. So lockdown happened and I just started writing because I had the time. And uh, that was it. And the thing with stand-up comedy, I don't know about you, Pete, but I feel like it, 
it makes you feel alive, like you push yourself. Yeah. It just gives you that kind of... It will put you in you a, out your comfort zone. Yeah. And you feel, when it goes well, it's just such a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah. You feel like you've accomplished Yeah, when you get a something. good... When, when, when you get, like, a, 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 a great laugh and, yeah. one, and one its own, you're just... It, it, I know what you'd, how you'd describe it, really. It's Crack. a bit like... Yeah, it's like scoring a goal, imagine. isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it's just not. It. I think a lot of people always say they always say on the comedy circuit, "Oh, what kind of person you have to be to get up here? We're all mad, like sort of." Yeah, thing, yeah, like, yeah. You, you hear it. that a lot, don't you? And I don't think you. Are, I don't think. I don't think people like comedians are mad or anything like that. I just think it's about. Like you say, just taking yourself out of your comfort zone mm. and just doing something that you ordinarily wouldn't do or, or or other people ordinarily wouldn't do, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And and just pushing yourself. Yeah. And, and because believe it or not, I used to be the shyest kid. Me too. Ever. Me too. I'd but this is the red, weird thing. Yeah, I'd go red at things. Like when people would be talking at me, I'd go like clam yeah. up and all yeah. that. I used to be horrendous. <laughs> So a lot of stand-ups are very shy off stage, though, aren't they? Yeah. You meet like I, I met Tony Law, and uh, he's been around for years. And he, he's amazing. He's really like mm. out there, isn't he, on stage? And you meet him off stage, and he's he's just so yeah, like but, but chill, quiet. But that's like sort of like an alter ego. Yeah. Thing, you need to get it out, don't yeah. you? You need to. So a lot of people create an alter ego. So yeah. you'll see, or, or like we've spoken about personas before, where people will they'll, they'll make their persona more than what it, than it is, sort of thing. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. it's sort of like a mask. You're sort of like protecting yourself, isn't you? I absolutely, think. Do you know yeah, what I mean? I absolutely. It's something I still haven't found yet as a persona because I'm still searching for it. I'm still searching it. as well. I think we're so new into it, though, aren't yeah. we? In the grand scheme of things. Yeah. I mean, some yeah. people find it straight away, and other people they. It takes them years yeah, and years, years, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, something we learnt from Jeff Innocent, didn't we? Yeah. Um, He's a little nod to Jeff. Oh, yeah. Did you live the same, the yeah, same yeah, he was on the same course. Yeah. 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 And this guy, his persona is so like, you know him as soon as he steps on stage, mm. he just owns. The stage, we see him, it? didn't we, at the creek, yeah. didn't we, uh, back at Christmas? Because he's, he's touring, so isn't he? Yeah, I need to go and watch him. Actually, yeah. I'm, I must. Well, I gigged with him. Did you? Yeah, with um, oh, you know when you like you got your idol like, there, and yeah, you, and you really want to impress. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the pressure's on. And I was like, it was it was Adam's gig, one of his gigs, and and you know Dave as well from the group. Yeah. So they had a gig down in Margate. Oh, it's Margate. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. And I was like, I had this new bit that I'd added to my routine that I'd been doing for ages, and. <laughs> I put I put I, I put a blindfold on, right? Just to to emphasise the premise yeah. of like the blind parent thing, yeah. And he went, uh, Dave went to me, he Jeff's downstairs, he wants to see you. So I went down to see him and I was talking to him, oh, and he's just blown up in the on social media and all that. And I went, um, he goes, So how are you getting on? I went, Yeah, I went, I do this new bit now, I've got a I got a blindfold. He went. Well, you mentioned props. He went. You don't. He goes. No, you know I don't like props. <laughs> <laughs> and you went. Like, yes, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I won't use it. <laughs> but you did it anyway. But I did it anyway, and um, he was right. <laughs> I shouldn't have used it. It worked in one situation, but it weren't going to work somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But um, yeah, but that's true of any new. It's all experience. Do you know what I mean? It's Isn't all it? experience. Yeah, you must have tried bits. I've tried bits, and they. have They've worked. The next gig, I think, lovely. I'm going to try that again. That yeah. worked last time. Fucking doesn't work. Nothing, yeah. And you get nothing. And you're like, oh. <laughs> you know? You don't know, do you? Yeah. You have to kind of just keep doing it and working it out. Is it to do with like, the type of public? or, or the, It know? can be. It can be, yeah. The, 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 the type of like um, audience that you've the got. The audience you get, yeah. yeah. You might get a, a very, like, I don't know, you might call it a left-wing audience. Do you know what I mean? Or... You know, some, what for a better word, I don't know, like woke. Mm. They used the word woke a lot, yeah. didn't they? And and some things in comedy can be like a little bit more edgy, can't mm -hmm. they? Where And people, especially some of my bits, they are quite edgy, Which, but I'm trying to introduce new bits in, new bits in, because there is some stuff that is edgy. But like I said the other week, and Jeff said it as well, because Jeff's a purist, isn't he? And like Jeff will say like... The, the best comedy it comes from in there doesn't it yeah, sort of yeah. thing do you know what I mean yeah. so like his bit is related to what he 
lives with mm. on, a, on, a, on a daily basis. And so was mine. And, and so is yours mm. as well, do you know what I mean? But depending on what that subject matter is, other people look at it in a completely different Absolutely, way yeah, to what course. you look at it. Yeah. So what you deem as, like, relatable... Well, and... they're only watching you for however many minutes on stage, aren't you? So they're trying to work you out in yeah. those minutes. So if you do an edgier joke, I mean, it might rub them the wrong way and then straight away they're on the, they're, yeah. they're the defensive and they don't want to hear the rest yeah. of your stuff you got to warm them in, didn't you? you got to warm them up a bit, Pete. How know? did you go from then right into the first sort of practice or gig or what? What was the first gig? I went to the Cav. Oh, the Cav. I love the Cav. Up in London. That's really supportive. Mm. Great gig, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, five minutes up there. And I won. I won the little trophy. Did you trophy. win the little trophy? I won trophy. my first time. I ain't won that. I've got to try and win that. Yeah. And that was so your that first was sort of gig? That was my first gig. And obviously, ego. <sighs> Yeah, I'm fucking brilliant at this. <laughs> <laughs> Next gig, you know, straight back down because it's like that, isn't yeah. it? You know, yeah, it it's is, like yeah. riding a wave, but very much. You so. can't have not that I've got an e- like a big ego, but everyone's got an ego, haven't they? That. So yeah, you know, it's like literally building you up and then like dashing you on the floor the next time yeah definitely but it builds resilience doesn't it oh yeah it really really does and you start to get to know yourself better that's, that's the thing in it because like billy who was with us i remember like well, bill tong who was yeah. with us he when oh, yeah. got in a train with him and he said like he'd been doing it a while before i had and he was saying the thing is you're gonna get you're gonna you're gonna bomb yeah you, everyone's gonna bomb at times but it's just a way of building up how many times you bomb is building up an armour. Yeah, absolutely. So you just get used to it. I mean, I couldn't give a shit if I bomb, to be mm. quite honest. If I go out there tomorrow night and I don't get a response, I don't care. I'm... But at the beginning you do. But at the beginning you do, of course. it's everything But that's you, why it? a lot of people don't <coughs> continue it, because they can't take that. Yeah. But they don't mm. want to go through that again. It's, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. But getting past that point, it just builds your confidence and it builds yeah. your strength inside i think yeah. you know and coming from someone you know talking to someone like you that was shy as a kid same as me yeah it just it's just doing great things for me i think yeah like, me you know, too as I'm getting yeah. older oh and... it's, do you know what it's been a lifesaver for me in the last couple of years do you know yeah, what i mean I you saying that yeah it's been a lifesaver for me after all the crap i've been through which yeah. won't go into but it has been a lifesaver because yeah. it just you've just got a different Something else to focus on, isn't you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Other than all the serious shit and that, you can just be a, uh, <clears throat> you can just be a clown making people laugh yeah. and just enjoying it. You know what I mean? Or in <laughs> not always making people not always, laugh. Not but, always making people laugh. But no, attempting to. So it's yeah. just it's just nice. It's just a nice community as well, isn't it? It's lovely. I've met some really good people. I've met some good ones. Not Have you. Yeah. Have you met any uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> awesome? <coughs> I've not mentioned a name. Come on, no, we can't <laughs> do that. They're, 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 um, it's the same as everything. Anything yeah, creative you're going to get. Some like, people have got a little bit of like, um, they do think they're a cut above the rest. Oh, yeah, they? yeah. And then, But then comedy's so subjective, isn't it? Yeah. You know, they think they're the shit and then you watch them and you think, I don't really, mm, don't really like your stuff. Yeah. You know, I didn't really laugh I suppose at that. like their style is probably not everyone's style, is it? Same mm, for anyone. Yeah. It's like you're getting up there, all different personalities, all different views of life yeah. and coming from different backgrounds. So, you know, not everyone's going to warm to you. Yeah, it's, it's massive, yeah. isn't it? But it's when they're like, they build themselves up and they sort of, you mm. know... Yeah, I've met some ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, names. I'm not naming. I'm not name. I'm not <laughs> no, I'm only joking. But, it's, um, but you've so got to be like, you've got to be friendly, you've got to go in there. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice meeting people and having a drink and... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's lovely. Do you have a worse experience? Last week at the blackout. Oh, did you do it? Yeah. Indy done it as well, didn't she? She she went through. I need to message Indy. Say well well done because that's amazing. Yeah, I I, I didn't get through. No. But that really knocks your confidence. That I've done that three times. I ain't got <coughs> like the blackout. Now. Yeah. But I thought oh, I'm just gonna do it. I've done it for a little while, so I just went up there and did it. The first time I did it. Me, me mate, um, I said to me, me mate, when are you doing your next comedy minute? And I just, I don't know why I told him. I said, I'm doing the blackout. He goes, oh, when's that? I'm going to come, you know. He goes, I'll come. And I was like, oh. Nothing worse than people coming to watch, is it? I was like, yeah, all right, then, okay. I don't mind if it's another gig, but the blackout. Yeah. Like, and I was like, um, yeah, all right, then. And I told him today, anyway. So then, then, then 
a few of the people had been on it who I knew and they'd all getting gonged off and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, mate, this is good. <laughs> they, and I, I looked at them as good comedians, like, do you yeah. know what I mean? And I'm thinking, oh, shit, they've got not got it on. <laughs> so I phoned him up and I said, listen, I went, um, I don't know whether or not it's worth you coming or not. I said, because... I'm, I might only be up there a minute and the lights are going to go out on me. He went, it's all right, I'll bring a torch. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, oh bless him. I was like, oh, I didn't call him. Oh. I think I lasted about three and a half minutes. But it's, it's you hard. You can't gauge your you stuff on that, though, can no, you? No, no, you can't on any of them. It just knocks you. It just knocks your confidence. I just, I don't think I'll do it anymore. I just think... I, I, I like doing them because, you? It's, yeah, I like doing them, even though if I don't go through. Have I you mean, done the one with the dildos? Yeah, I've gone dildos. through on that one. The, 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 <laughs> the, the, yeah. <laughs> you woke up then when I said dildos. <laughs> <anyway>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the gong, the, the gee, what do they call it? Is it Big Belly? Ding now? Dong. Yeah, it's, be- it's the ding Big dong. Belly, but it's the Ding Dong Gong that. Show. I've never done it. The comedy yeah. store looks terrifying. So I've done I that. Do that. I've done the comedy store. Did you? Mm. How long did you last? I probably lasted one minute, ten oh, seconds. That's brilliant. But really, in all honesty, I was probably standing up there for 20 seconds just waiting for the gong. Really? It was horrendous. Oh, no. <laughs> horrendous. It's but I will do it again. I will do it again. I'll do it again. It's like gladiator. It's mm. like going into a, yeah. a pit with people just being like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why am I doing this to myself? How long have we got tomorrow? Is it five or ten? Um, I've asked Baz for ten, but uh, it might be, depends how it goes, eh? I better ask him. Might be one. Might be one minute up there. Glass of water. Maybe. Do you go quite often then? Or what's your, what's your plans with the accommodation? Sort of? Um... I'm not. I'm quite relaxed just going about with it. The flow, yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to enjoy myself and yeah. just. No I'm not pressure. putting pressure because yeah. we don't live in London. Mm. That people are gigging every night of the week. Yeah. And I've got a, I've got a family. I've got you know. I don't want to be going out, and I work evenings as well. I don't want to be going out, trying to like just get fit gigs in. It's not about that for no. me. It's about just enjoying, enjoying it, yeah, yeah. enjoying Enjoy the journey, that, yeah. trying new stuff. You know, Absolutely. that's what it's about, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And it's for me. You know, it's like it's just good for me. Do you practice at home? Do you know what? That's <laughs> the that's thing. It. No, that's the thing. I, I I find it really hard to. I don't know about you. I find it really hard to practice. And when you watch videos back of yourself, oh, that's the worst thing. I don't practice. Yeah, I can't. It's like a barrier that I've yeah, got there. It's, it's weird really because weird, isn't it? You got all your stuff in your head. Yeah. That you know you're going to come out with, and you've got a general gist of it, and and, and we might be handwriters. Do you know what I mean? Do you yeah, I've tried. Hands? The last gig I did, because I usually write stuff on my hands to remind me, because I'm so like bad mm. with forgetting, and I just wrote three lines. Matt Wills was there, and he said, "Just write lines like that. Mm. Just wean yourself off." And mm. I did that, and it was it was good actually. I did crowd work, didn't I? I did quite a lot of crowd yeah. work on Friday. Crowd work. I like doing crowd work. Yeah, when it's I can. fun, isn't it? It's 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 one. Of, it's a different. It's a sort of different skill set in it. If you was to call it that, as part of being. Yeah, a, a, but at the beginning, meeting. that's like you don't even think about that, do you? No. You just want to get your stuff out, and that's it. Yeah, but um, <coughs> I tried. I tried doing some of the trade stuff and all that. Now, and it's like I did some crowd work. Barry was there once, and uh, I did some crowd work with her. Uh, somebody in the audience but it was that this so like when you're talking about audiences being is it that kind of audience so i go so is there any trades men in nothing no, <laughs> oh, no this <laughs> is gonna be relatable joke, it? It? you know what i mean <laughs> and then there's a case okay is there is there any tradesmen's wives in nothing and I'm like, oh, right, okay. So I picked on the bird at the front of the thing. I went, right. I said, for the, um, just, what's your name? And she told me, I said, for the benefit of, like, you know, this gig and my video, I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said let's pretend that you're a tradesman's wife, okay? And you just say yes to whatever I say, right? So I go, all right. So what, what, what are you a tradesman's wife? She goes, yeah. Said, what is your husband doing? She went, he's a carpenter. All right, right. When he's out, does he do this? See that house over there? She went, no. And I was like... She didn't let you finish? I went, I went, Kid, no, yeah. you're not, you're not, no. You're meant to say yes. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Got to play along. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, it's, I've got jokes like that. Hey, yeah. you banter it You off, ask people it? something and yeah. it's just like, nah. Jeff don't like that though, does he? 
What the crowd work? Don't that crap work? Huh? No, he doesn't, does he? No. But I think that's all part of it, isn't it? But if he I think that's, yeah. that's <laughs> spon- that, that spon- Well, that's our opinion, isn't it? Yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, that's, yeah, like, yeah. that's Jeff, like, he's old school. It's that's his style. That's his style. But I think, like, doing crap, <coughs> people like spontaneous stuff, don't they? Yeah. Stuff that's off the cuff. They, yeah. they want to feel involved in the... Yeah. In the conversation, I think, don't they? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. It's like, um, if there's a carpenter, you going tomorrow? Uh, probably, yeah. Right, yeah. say yes. Right? <laughs> when I ask, is there any tradesmen in the room, you say, say yes. yes. <laughs> All right? Got that, guys? You're staging it. Oh, yeah. 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 We're staging yeah, it now. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're staging it, staging we're it, it set right? this up now. Yeah. I wish I could come yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, well, you know, you got a barbecue to go to for your mate, did not you? But, you know, don't worry about me. Yeah, you can see birthday. him. Yeah, it's, oh, it's only my birthday. It? Yeah. <laughs> it's Pete's birthday. Pete's birthday, Pete, yeah. Sprinkle, guys, his birthday as well. Oh, is it? Oh, you go oh, see the better Pete. Go and see the better Pete with the better sprinkler. Yeah. I've got, I've got you some Peronis, Pete, for your birthday. There you go. Do you drink? 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 That's for it. Play for me. Play for you. Oh, thanks, Claudia. Nobody's ever bought me any beers on my birthday. Oh, oh. there we go. It's like... Gaz is looking and thinking, they were mine. They were my yeah. Peroni. We got them in the fridge and I didn't really know. They no, were we from Tesco's them. today. You yeah. Said we yeah. said we're going to have... stop to get them. We're going to have a Barbie tomorrow. <laughs> like, now you've given them away. I was going to get you eggs because oh, I thought, you. I don't know if you were drinking or not because you follow Eddie Abu, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he only follows I do, you. I, I love him. I, love I, love him. I, don't, I don't follow... Not his food advice. Yeah. Just, I don't, just no, just his food advice. I don't follow the food advice. I'd love to. Sit there eating a cake. I'd love yeah. to. But, I, but I, I don't... To be fair, like, I look at it this way. Like, um, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah. And I can't imagine dying without ever tasting a McDonald's burger. So, <laughs> you know. But a lot fair of what enough. he says... There's a lot of truth to it in there, yeah. I think. There's a lot of truth to it. I've started more eggs anyway. I have as well. Yeah. But so then, yeah, they have a shit, but, but uh, yeah, I eat more eggs. It's probably not beneficial to do <laughs> no, that, No, probably is it? not. My cholesterol is probably through the <laughs> But um, yeah. No, I, I need to drink more water, actually. That's what I need to do. I'm terrible at drinking water. You've got your nice big bottle here with you. I don't yeah. drink water at all. No, I don't pass it to Pete. I've got a cold. Oh, yeah, she's got a cold. He doesn't want germs, does he? Yeah. I've enjoyed this. Yeah. It's really. Oh, it's I wasn't good. expecting yeah. some of the things that the subject matter that would come out with. I think it's brilliant. The fact that he had no other choice but to bring us on. We were like the last minute. No, you wasn't. <laughs> Don't lie. No, I've been on you for ages, the and you've been, you've been going. You've been going. It's, all, it's all on Gus. Yeah, no. She's going. It's all on Gus. Oh, we yeah. can get it. No, he has mentioned you a lot of times. Uh, I know. What do you do it? for a job as well? Um, I teach Zumba. Oh, yeah, of course you do, yeah. I do, and a waitress as well, unfortunately. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Hospitality. Well, Zumba again, can you show us with the cameras? No. <laughs> <laughs> You'd actually have to pay me to do that. Sorry. Do you want to plug yourself? Extra. Do you want to plug your services for Zumba? Um... No, people know me. They know who what I'm doing. No, people know me. People know me. <laughs> they know, know I. Me. You know, yeah. I'm really bad with self promotion. It's like the it's it's awful. I don't know about you, but no, you're all over Instagram, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. You fucking love it. What am I talking about? He loves his other voice. No, I'm only really joking. No, I'm bad. I'm bad with that. Zumba, Maidstone, come and find me. Yeah, cool. Appreciate That's it. it. Yeah, thank you for coming on. Yeah, yeah cheers. Thank Thanks very much. I really appreciate this. And I can't wait to gig with you tomorrow. Actually. I know, yeah. And I can't wait for Gus to say wait. yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Say no. Up your stooge. Yeah. Say no. Is there any carpets? I'll just put my hand. No. <laughs> I think stooges are Your fine, carpet. to be yeah, fair. Yeah, I think so. I mean, because it's still going to make people. Well, it might make people laugh. And that's the point of it there, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's the whole point of it. That's right. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much. It's been right. a pleasure. Join us again next Monday for the overtime. Ta-da. All right, this has been another episode of Off The Job Podcast. Thanks for watching the show on YouTube or listening on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts and all other streaming platforms. If it's your first time watching or not, make sure to subscribe below and follow us on all the big social media stuff like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. For our overtime show on Monday, send us in your stories and comments for it to be read out on the show. Send it in via email, direct message through our social media accounts or WhatsApp us on 07457 406259. And we'll see you on the next episode.